So recently I've been looking into uh, the five elements of oriental medicine in relation to the development of the soul, the development of consciousness. And that's been really fascinating to me. It's, uh, it's giving me uh, a new structural model to plug into my overall clinical model. I think it's going to be very useful uh, in a clinical application, life application. The overview of it is that we, th there is a physical substance to the spirit, to consciousness, and we, it's all around us, it's in life, it's in the food that we eat, it's in the air that we breathe, it's in the water that we drink, and so we breathe that in through the lungs, through the, the metal element, lung, large intestine, we breathe it in, we absorb it from the water in the gut through the large intestines, this metal element is our entry point of this raw material of, of nature. Uh, that supports consciousness. From there, from the lungs, it flows through the heart to pump, of course, oxygen and also other nutrition, including the spiritual nutrition, to all the cells of the body. And in that process, these conscious minerals are being exposed to the electrical, electromagnetic oscillation of the heart, which has several several frequencies at which it, it goes into a, a state of coherence, a state of transcendent, a state that transcends time, transcends space and time. Uh, so in, in the breathing process, coordinating with the heart, when, when the body goes into a coherent state, we breathe we take a breath cycle every 10 seconds, six times a minute. Slow breath, a slow, deep, relax. <sighs> kind of breath. So we're just present here now. We're not thinking about something in the future or the past. We're not fearful of something that might happen that we're thinking about in our mind, projecting that onto the future. We're not angry about something that happened in the past that didn't match our projected images of our thoughts. We're not worrying that something might happen. We're not uh, sad that something did happen, that there's some loss of, of value in our space-time, here-now connection. So the, the, central, the central position in, in directionality in space, in the emotions, is joy. This is acceptance, the acceptance of what is here and now. There's, there's joy, there's a natural joy in, in being. If we look at, at babies, <laughs> they demonstrate it. They demonstrate a return to that state of joy even after experiencing some other emotion for lack of having higher intellectual uh, programming to hold themselves into a, through memory and through will to hold themselves in uh, uh, an asymmetrical state, whether it's in, in anger, the body tends to go backwards, and, and in fear, we tend to go get smaller and become concentric forward. With, with uh, worry, there's like a movement into the, into the head and a lack of groundedness. And with, with sadness, there's a loss of that upward energy and we're, our, our center moves, moves down. There's, there's a sunkenness to, to energy. Now, all of those directions of energy experience can be experienced in, ultimately in the context of maintaining that center, centering effect and, and integrative effect of the heart, of the emotion of joy. So if we can allow ourselves to relax and, and breathe on this natural cycle of every 10 seconds, completing a breath cycle, in a state of 
joy, gratitude, compassion. We are then programming these minerals of, of spirit as they go through the heart to be our own, to be connected to our spirit body, and then be have have uh, have a tether, have a connection, a link, a communication with that heart center, so that when they maybe become integrated in the liver, where where we, where the, where the foundation for the experience of, of anger, of of uh, uh, a sense of of the need for correction uh, to to improve something about life, uh, then that we don't have to experience anger as as a negative emotion, as a separation, but can experience it as energy, as a gift of energy to be able to make a corrective change of what restructuring and reorganization of the flow of life.